Did you know that it is common for children to have eight to 10 colds a year? The common cold is one of the most frequent reasons that children miss school. Hi, I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest. In partnership with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department, I'm here today to tell you more about the common cold. The key piece of information I'd like you to take from today's video is that antibiotics cannot cure the common cold. Did you know that there are over 200 viruses that cause the common cold? These viruses spread from person to person through the air or close contact. Antibiotics will not cure these viruses. Therefore, your child will not feel better if they take an antibiotic when they have a common cold. When your child has a cold, mucus fills the nose, causing a runny nose, congestion, and the mucus to drip down the back of the throat called postnasal drip. This can cause a sore throat and a cough. When the germs that cause colds first infect the nose and the sinuses, the nose makes a clear mucus. This helps wash the germs from the nose and sinuses. After two to three days, this mucus may change to a white, yellow, or green color. This is normal and does not mean that your child needs antibiotics. Your child might also have sneezing, mild headache, mild body ache, watery eyes. All of these symptoms can last for up to two weeks. We do recommend that your child see your healthcare provider if they have a fever of 100.4 or higher, symptoms that have lasted longer than 10 days, or severe or unusual symptoms. And remember, if your child is less than three months of age and has a fever, it's important that you contact your healthcare provider right away. When you use antibiotics appropriately, you do the best for your health, your family's health, and the health of those around you. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest.